Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of 3DS Basics tutorial for how to make a gaming character. In this episode we are going to start shaping the head and the legs. So let's begin that we have actually learned how to use the edge flow and create this object. We can see it's not perfect. We ended up with uh, just creating a sketch at the end which is fine so let's fix those as you can see we have here screwed up the ending so let's go to the front and actually let's go to the back which is much better and then we're going to get rid of the symmetry modifier turn it off on the lamp and then we're gonna go and select all these edges outside and we are going to make them zero on the X and then we're gonna align them using the align tool on the X and it's now perfect centered so now we all we have to do is just adjust it and it'll be pretty simple to do make sure that you're using the edge flow in order to finish it up so there we go looks much better clean so next we are going to head to the head itself so go ahead and try and find your center point where your neck is supposed to be if you want to adjust it we could make this a little bit go like like that and we can see that the center point is over here you might want to make some sort of adjustment so you can like move those a little bit to make them have space for the neck just like that make sure you're still using the edge flow just I know it's gonna mess it up a little bit but that seems fine for now and go ahead and select the center one next we're going to use the chamfer in order to chamfer it and that way it will make sort of a diamond shape make sure not to touch the edges and stay just a little bit that this is enough like that so once you do that we are going to go turn off sub object mode go to object properties and turn off edges only as you can see these are the invisible edges that we talked about in the first part since we have done the chamfering it kinda screwed up the edges over here and they look really like smashed together and we don't want that so to fix this all you gotta do go to polygon we're going to simply select both of polygons hold control select both and then go to retry in the tries. So once you do that, it'll clear up the edges and it'll be just one. Turn off polygons and then actually we want to stay in polygons. So next we're going to go to top view, just like that, much better. And then we're going to select both edges. Remember because this is really what we're doing here so it just reflects it so after you select them go and create vertices this is the insert vertice it inserts how many what you want we just want one for each one so let's just click one and then you'll get these additional vertices and now you want to go to uniform now it's fine to use it because we are actually using it in sub object mode so it doesn't matter and we're gonna scale it on the Y axis to make it a little bit circlish this seems fine enough so let's go ahead and go to polygons select the polygon and you can see you wanna might wanna retry this as well so let's do that again retry there we go that's much better and then select the polygon and delete it. I know it's, it's deletion, it's not good, but yeah, 
we have to do it because we don't want any inner parts to stay in the neck. We might not get to the head this, this episode, but we'll try to get the neck first. So next, you want to go to edges. And, as we can see, they are selected all around, so which is good. And instead of using um, extrude, we are going to go ahead and use the clone, which is pretty simple. All you gotta do is once you select all the edges, hold shift and then just drag up. And as you can see, you will have the neck just that simple. Now keep in mind, we are not creating a character that is super realistic. We are just learning how to sketch a model. You could use that for your information to learn it and using that information you can start modeling your own creations. So we're just gonna make an imaginary weird abstract person. So don't worry about the shape of the neck until you start modeling on your own. So this is good enough. Now let's go ahead and turn off edges only or turn it on and now it looks much cleaner and now if we turn off edges by clicking F4 if we learn, as we learned before we're going to see that this is what we ended up with it doesn't look quite you can see some edges which are kind of hard to get like to get rid of unless you want to make more polygons and we don't want that so the way to go for this is you go to polygons you go to front select everything Make sure it's selected all the way, so that's good. And then you want to go all the way down, scroll down until you see the smoothing groups. These are called the smoothing smoothing groups, and what they do is basically they give the illusion to the program that the light reflecting is making it look smooth, although it's edgy. So, for example, over here click on clear all and then let's say you want to click on 32 so we click on 32 each level is sharper we start by one which is the smoothest one and then we go all the way until 32 which is the sharpest so we wanna we don't want 32 for now we want it on one or two but probably one depending on which area like shoes might want to need two but depending on how you see it, just how you feel the texture should be and how the, the, the what the material is basically. So now we can see that it's super smooth. There are no more edges and the neck is perfect. If you're wondering why the neck looks invisible from each side, it's because we can't see the inside if you remember. So this is what we end up with. It looks pretty realistic for a uh, organic creature doesn't necessarily look human but for now it looks like a weird organic creature so turn off F4 or turn on and we're back to edges so now all we gotta do is start shaping the neck how we want so click on L and now you might wanna move it a little bit so scroll up go to vertex or let's just go to polygons select them and then just move them a little bit that looks much better and then we're going to move a little bit even further let's use some vertices and fix them up so go ahead and select these ones and we're just gonna go ahead and move them up so that we have space for the neck. Wanna fix up some of them. And then go to polygons again and move them up. And then let's just scale it the y axis, just like that. And maybe even the x axis as well, just a little bit. There we go. Move it back a little bit. And that's about the center. I would say. So next we are going to go ahead and well we're basically finished with the neck. 
for now until we do the head. So let's go ahead and go and make the legs. So to do that, we are going to go ahead, edit poly, and then you are going to go at the bottom. Once you are there, you are going to go and cut the very bottom ones. So to do that, what are we going to use? A cut tool, of course. But we have to use edges, so make sure you're in edges, not vertices. So make a really thin line about this long. Oops. Try to make it straight. And there we go, that looks good enough. And then, as we can see, we have, let's turn our cut off and go to create to close the five edged um, polygon. And same for this one, so let's create another. Let's put it right here, that's good. Then we are going to go ahead and go to Make sure you turned off create. So, right in poly, polygons, select them. And, like you want to even select the edges, which is much, make it much cleaner. And let's just delete them. Make sure that you actually selected all the edges. There we go, that's good. Delete them. And now we are going to make them in a bikini way. So to do that, go to vertices and start shaping them like a bikini. So you might want to pull this up a little bit so that we can have some space. And then go ahead and make them like a bikini. Just a bikini shape, you'll know why later. There we go. So next, we are going to go ahead and fix it on the back as well. Okay, I don't like the back, so let's go ahead and go back there. And I'll click on back. As you can see, it's it's not 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 what we wanted. So. So then, now life looks like a bikini. Let's go ahead and go to borders. And let's just fill it in. So to do that, click on cap poly. I think we have missed one. Wow, yeah, right there. Let's just delete that. Don't you hate them, those small ones? looks much better okay so go to borders and go to cap poly so now that it's filled in let's go and make it a geopoly and what that does is make just makes it like a real um, geopoly just like a real uh, polygon or something uh, so go ahead and click on it uh, go to polygon select both and um, geopoly so there we go I mean, it looks intersecting, but that's that's okay. So to fix that, just move it. It's just reflecting, that's all. Don't worry about it. And then, this is good. This is good enough. Um, go to front. Make sure that you have some space left. Um, just about like that. Let's fix those up a little bit. Just make them get closer to each other. 
just seems too much stretching over there. Okay, it looks much better. Okay, so let's go to polygon and then simply pull it down. So there we go. It's very simple. So we might want to have it a reasonable. That's too much, probably. So this is good enough, I guess, for a uh, adult male. I guess uh, that's good enough. And then we are going to go ahead and create. Let's let's pull let's pull it up a little bit. So let's just go up above the x-axis, and then go edit. And now you want to make sure that there are some. Um, there are some swift loops in between where the leg uh, actually has to has to stretch or like when when if you have any sort of joint in your body you want to have enough stretching room in order to like stretch it for animation so I'll explain about that um, make sure that you select all these and click on a line of the Z that way they are aligned and now it looks pretty reasonable maybe a little bit more to reach the feet and let's say that we want to apply a swift loop right mm, let's say about yeah right here right here right here and you wanna finish those you might wanna cut them so to do that it's pretty simple and let's go around Go around about right here is good, and then just pull up the vertices using the move tool. So just like that, and then collapse to here. So do that for the other two. So once you have done this, let's go ahead and go make sure it's like a bikini line so that it can like stretch. And let's select all this edge and chamfer it as well. We just want as much want to make sure that it's chamfered and it has a lot of space when it bends. So there we go, that looks about good. So next we are going to go and make the arms. So to do that, simply do as we did last time. Try and make a center point somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, move these ones over, not to mess with the edge flow. Looks good enough. 
And let's go ahead and pick this as a main point here. So if you make it like a geopoly, it would be much better. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and chamfer it just like we did on the neck. And there we go. Okay, so once you do that, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Select the two edges, and in this case, four. Add the vertices, scale them in the Z axis this time. A little bit on the Y. There you go. Now go ahead and select the polygon, and go ahead and make it a geopoly. There we go. It looks messy a little bit, but that's okay. Let's scale, let's align it in X. So that looks better. And then go ahead and delete it. And then we're going to use the borders as the main key to uh, push the arms from. So hold shift and move in the X. And as you can see, now we got some sort of arms. So I'm just trying to. make it seem better and you can add swift loops and everything to make it uh, look much better than this so let's go ahead and make it a little bit uh, let's add a swift loop right here because we want to make sure that we can stretch it because it's a joint remember so I guess a few here there we go and Go ahead and select all of it. And let's go ahead and chamfer this so we can make another uh, polygon going into the body itself. So that looks about good enough. Um, I want to get rid of one of them here. So I think it's too much. but. So let's just get rid of this one. And just click delete. Right, so there we go. And then we are going to go ahead and start shaping it into being a real arm. So to do that, just select the vertices. We want to make go go to left and just start shaping it to be more circlish. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's looking a little bit better. You can uh, probably add some swift loop. So let's do that. One here, one here. And just add one in between each one. So that's good enough. That looks surplish. So there we go. And now let's go ahead and make um, the joints or the elbow. So to do that, let's go to front. Uh, let's push this just a tiny bit over here, make it reasonable. And elbows would be about right here. I would assume. Remember, this is abstract, we're not really doing real characters here. So, and let's go ahead and let's go another swift loop right here, right here. And for this one, we are going to make it a little bit smaller. It's ridiculous how big it is. So, let's go ahead and uniformly scale it down. And a little bit for this one. And so there we go. You can make biceps, triceps. So that's easy peasy. So let's do that. And there we go. That looks good enough. So these are the arms and the legs. 
set and ready to be textured and animated there are some flaws in it but you get the hang of it and it's pretty easy and simple to do once you get to know how to do it I think I'm gonna go ahead and yeah these should be collapsed right here it's too many ways that's it's just so let's just go ahead and collapse all here so you gotta know like how to save up polygons how to manage to like make the lowest amount when still have the best quality you want not too many and not too um, few so as you can see this is good enough I like it I think it's it's, it's a very very good uh, there's some refining needs to be done yeah <laughs> major ones here so there we go Alright, well, thank you for watching part 2, stay tuned for part 3, and subscribe for more future tutorials, and I'll see you next time. Peace.